In this video, we'll briefly introduce what we mean by nominal and real GDP. Now, so far we've seen that GDP measures the total spending on goods and services in all markets in the economy. But think about the following. If GDP in 2019 was $19 trillion dollars, and GDP in 2020 is 20 trillion dollars then one of two things would have happened one the economy is so I should say either either the economy is producing a larger output of goods and services which means we are producing more laptops more iPads um, more services etc or goods and services are being sold at higher prices in 2020 than in 2019. Okay, so whenever we are studying changes in the economy over time, economists are interested to separating these in, in separating these two effects. So we want to separate these effects and understand is the economy are we really producing more? Or is it just that prices are higher this year and so we are getting a larger number uh, for our GDP? Okay, so to do this, economists use a measure called real GDP. So let's write down for both nominal and real what is going to come. So nominal GDP is going to value output using current prices and it does not correct does not correct for inflation And real GDP, on the other hand, this is used more frequently, values output using the prices of what we call a base year. Okay, so, so to understand this, um, think about a hypothetical question which is what would be the value of goods and services produced in 2020 if we valued these goods and services at the prices that prevailed in 2019. Okay, and so what we're saying is we are trying to use a specific year in the past to to determine what the value of the price uh, value of the goods and services are going to be in 2020 so we'll use prices from 2019 to value the goods and services in 2020 so by evaluating current production using the prices that are fixed at past levels real gdp is showing how the economy's overall production of goods and services 
has changed over time. Okay, so you, we can write this down by evaluating current production using prices that are fixed right so this fixed these fixed prices are from the base here at past levels real GDP shows how the economy how the economy's overall production of goods and services has changed over time. Okay, so in other words, G real GDP does correct for inflation or is corrected for inflation. And these concepts that we covered in this video are going to be clarified using uh, a simple example, which is the next video.